Hello, Taurus and Crosswatchers. Welcome, welcome, welcome all. This is a reading for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, right? You just boop your nose and away it goes if it don't resonate with you because there's no reason in a trying to fit something that does not fit you at all, right? Right. Taurus, this is for cross watchers and y'all alike. So, you know, figure out who's who because I have no idea, right? Like, I just work here. Like, that is my whole stemma or whatever. I'm going to be doing something different. I was actually going to lay your guys' cards out, but I missed my little symbols. But that's okay because I'll probably do it for the rest. I just wanted to see how this will go. Now, for anyone new to my channel and you want a personal read, right? All the information is in the description box below. You just scroll down a little ways and then you find the stuff right there. Like most of the uh, reading information is right after the music listings I use. So just go there. Newcomers, the first reading is on the house. After that, everything comes with the price and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. So anyway, Taurus, let's see what all these cards are going to be laid out for you. I just should have just laid them out, but that's okay. I kind of like how it went with Aries. It gave me a minute to actually focus on it, so I think I'm just going to start doing that. I'm doing something new because it's the New Year's and, I, and like, you know, it's a great habit once said, New Year, New Me, but you, but, you know, if, if you've never watched Everyman Hybrid, like, that's, that's way more scarier than what you realize. Just letting you know. <laughs> so let's see my loves. And your energy you got a tower moment along with, like, the ace of swords right here. Being like, you know, there was an avoidance of a tower moment because some sort of truth arrived or whatever but down the situation we got the eight of cups where someone's kind of lingering on the past instead of moving to the future putting them in a shitty ass mood right with the page of cups or whatever over here in the wants and wishes we got the queen of swords um trying to figure out what it is she's gonna cut out but she's gotta look over what the fuck she's invested in first before she makes that kind of decision right Five of Wands, Taurus and Cross Watchers. It's reverse. That's your obstacle and challenge. It's like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, except everybody is infected with the ooze, and now they're all trying to kill each other. And, and that's because there's a lot of unfairness. Like, no one can really be a victor here because, well, a victory can be had if there's no balance between people. Like, people are being given the wrong stuff. Some people aren't being given anything at all. And this might be a tragedy on your part, right? Fears and rejection. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, right? That powerful energy. Definitely could be a Leo Ray here. Um, might be stuck. Might be stuck, right? How this shit starts, how it'll end. The Ten of Pentacles right here. Completion, the family home, business is fucking open. And people are very cordial with their uh, condolences and talkings to, right? And then we have the Queen of Wands, who's the King of Wands. Is Counterpart, she's standing there with her pots to be like, This is my shit. My shit is bananas. B A N A N A N. My shit is bananas. You know, that kind of thing, right? So let's see. So, Taurus and Cross Watcher. Um, this tower moment was avoided with the truth and had something to do with the Queen of Wands. Once again, this is my Esther card, though. Because that's why I named her. Surprisingly, it's the same name as my car, but she doesn't have an H in her name. Yeah, she doesn't have an H, so. I named one of my cards Esther. Wow. Well, <laughs> another one's Fanny Mae, and then another one's Becky. <laughs> I know. Let's see. So this Queen of Wands, she had her back turned for whatever reason. Hey, you get three on this one. And that might be because she feels like she trapped herself in a situation where she had to choose between one of two Bettys. There's Black Betty, Blonde Betty, Red Betty. And she might have chose Black Betty because that's where she always goes, you know. Down the situation right here where like this Eight of Cups, someone's all feathered about the past. 
how they can let shit go in order to move forward, but it's really hard for them, right? And they're all their feelings about that to the point where it might have drove them a little bit crazy with the Queen of Swords reverse. This Queen of Swords lost her shit and has turned her back on everything, so she's not the most supportive person right here. But she's expecting someone to save her, even though she can save herself in this situation with the hangman, like looking like a martyr, being like, look at, like thinking that these people are like, look, this dude is so like clever. Um, doing such awesome things or whatever to look like he's a martyr or some shit. But in reality, they're talking about the Penguins game and they're wondering why this weirdo is just hanging upside down from a fucking tree. Like, that's literally how they're seeing it. Like, you or your person, Taurus and Crosswatcher, um, might think they may be doing a noble thing, but in reality, they're probably being kind of dumb. And it's probably to a point where, like, people are noticing that they're dumb. Which I don't think that they're meaning to do. But damn, like, it, it, it's almost like an obvious thing. Like, these people are watching them act all erratic and shit. You know? Wants and wishes. The Queen of Swords, thinking of cutting shit out, but looking over what's all been expanded, right? You know, here's her counterpart, King of Swords, or this could just be her if she's an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they can see danger a mile a fucking way. And they're still aren't sure how this breakup went down, or even if it's still broken down, but they're ready to go somewhere and get back up on their feet after they've been, like, put down and shit. Mind you, you could also be this air, this air sign, Taurus, and Cross Watcher, you know? Because, like, you share the Empress card with Libra and Aries, and that's very Venetian energy. So sometimes it always feels like you guys can go in a little bit of air, too, because you guys do share the same energy. If not, this is an individual you're dealing with. Yeah. They can't get over how shit went down with things. And they feel trapped in all of this, too. This Queen of Swords. She doesn't know how to cut things out because it's like she feels stuck in it. And she can't get over her emotions about how it went. So this is my... This could be a person you decided not to choose. Or this is somebody you chose and now you're just like, uh... Let's see. Obstacle and challenge, Taurus, with this five of wands, this conflict that's leading to nothing, and nothing's being brought to be fair, right? You know, it's making it come out all raggedy in order to figure out what's going on, like, what is happening, you know? Like, you're just coming out there all dramatic and shit. And... Mm. Might have been some things. It, it's making you go real deep inside to be like, where's all this information coming from? Like, I don't like it. Like, you know, you might have to go deep inside and actually explore and, like, cause some fucking chaos. Or you could be looking at your own behavior, Taurus and Crosswatcher, in this situation and realizing that you, yourself, you've been putting yourself through a battle over whatever fucking reason. Who knows? Yeah, not my business, but it's like, maybe you're realizing, oh, maybe I did play a part in some of this and it really isn't just something that's out of nowhere, you know? Here's the rejection with this King of Wands being stagnant, Aries Leo Sagittarius. The world is fucked. It is fucked up. He might have bad karma or he's a, what people call a karmic, which I don't think people understand that karmics aren't evil. They just teach lessons. And he didn't mean to make people run away. Because I really don't think that, like, either that or he's running away from you, one of the two. But it's like, mm. Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. Being very sociable, having a good home and all that shit. Being very happy in the situation as well. It's time to get on the boat and go somewhere. Like, apparently you might just be leaving this behind. Or you found something better in order to invest in you're trying to stick your toes in that shit. Um... And someone might have had control issues. I don't know. Aries was acting kind of weird in theirs, too. It was like you were dealing with somebody, but it's like they weren't listening to each other. Or weren't hearing what the other person needed. And as a result of that, like it's like the other person, per like Aries's person. It was like they didn't want to go, but it was like if I can't 
get what I need? Why am I in this situation? You know, it was like one of those things, and I'm wondering if you're dealing with them, Taurus. Let's draw one more on that, because I am curious. Oh, this was faded. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune turning. It's like, you know, you might be leaving because someone really wasn't fair to you. Or they feel like you weren't fair to them, Air, Tor, Taurus and Crosswatcher, my bad. I think I keep calling you Aries and I'm not meaning to. This Queen of Wands. Um, She's going to stay looking good, but she ain't going to be saying nothing nice, much like the page over here either. This person instigates shit, and it's like you're matching their energies, being like, oh, is this how we're going to go today? Okay, whatever, I'll fight you. I'll fight anybody, I don't give a shit, you know? Let us clarify. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do everybody's just laying out, because I think that's a lot more interesting, actually. So let's see. With this energy where this person feels trapped, where they trapped themselves in a situation where maybe they weren't picked, because I feel like they would be the Red Betty, and they weren't picked from the way I lay this shit. Right? Cause them to take some action, and they really want to shoot the bitch so she gets out of this. Either she gets out, or she dies in order to get out. That's like the energy they're carrying, right? In order to bring their own happy ending. Mm. Down here in the situation, this Queen of Swords is trying to martyr herself, but everyone's too busy with their own problems to worry about why the fuck she's hanging upside on the tree, screaming like, I would be the holiest one ever. You know. That don't work in their favor. It definitely could be this fire sign you're dealing with. It doesn't work. It's like their tricks aren't working. It's like, um... It's like kind of seeing through them, and, and they don't really have the judgment to understand that St. Michael was tooting his horn, and then they, St. Michael saw him and was like, oh, we're done with band practice. Dropped their ass right on the ground. You know? Ugh. Wants and wishes. They've harvested a lot, but I want to take what's theirs and leave the rest for whatever it be. Like, you can have the rest of the treasures. I don't give a shit. But they only want to do that because something came out without somebody even having to step forward. Like, some information came out. So then it was like, oh, well, it's time to go. Like, they want to go before it gets out, out. Before anyone can even approach the shit. Because it's almost like they know that something's coming. Which, that's interesting. Oh, wow, this is actually way quicker, yeah. At least I'm not wasting y'all's time as much. Obstacles and challenges. You're going inside and realizing that you're matching energies with a smart bitch. It's fucking you up, you know? Yeah, it's it, you're fucking yourself up in it, too. Um, or that's them, but I don't feel like that's them, you know? I mean, it could be. But I feel like going in could fuck you over. You know, because I, I feel like this person's coming in, but they aren't, like, messing up their ride. You are. You could come in with this energy. You can come in and be like, hey, I found this shit out. And they'll come back with you with some ignorant bullshit. Being like, oh, yeah, well, you're just like your father. What does my dad have to do with anything? Don't you talk about my dad that way. I thought you hated your dad. I do, but nobody gets to talk to him like that except for me. You know, one of those weird things where it's like, they know how to say something, and you aren't skilled enough to fight them back with it. They fuck you up off of your horse. You know, and then it feels like you can't go back. It, 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 it's a Rubicon. It goes back to the point of no return. It's like if you step up to this person about the secrets that come out, Taurus, they're really going to rip you an asshole. And then it's going to make your brain click. Like, why am I dealing with somebody like this? You know, fears and rejections. The world is fucked up and this person drove the other away, causing the separation completely. Yeah. It's like this person was so focused on the games. Hmm. But it brings a victory somehow. I'm not one more, because that's just like, hmm. Yeah, and it leaves you all pissed off. Taurus, I feel like this person is just doing whatever. And you're catching them and shit, but you're also realizing that, um... Mm. If you're not martyring yourself, Taurus and Crosswatcher, this person is, so it can go either way. 
but it's like dealing with an abusive person who likes to push your buttons, fuck with your head, and then you're wondering why am I with somebody who like I already know is up to shit. I know I wasn't their first choice either. I feel like that's strong too. How this shit starts, how it'll end. boat sailing someone was unfair and now the wheel is turning you might be realizing that like either you or the person you're dealing with taurus and cross watcher was treating you like a gnome and then would kick you in the stomach whenever like you know you come get your pay be like yes come here you know and here's the emperor again definitely wanted it to be in that emperor energy control you like a pet it would beat the fuck out of you if you didn't act like the servant they wanted you to be that was like their wish fulfillment like if this was love they don't love you And then they act like they're doing it for your own good. Ew. Yeah. What? I won't say it till the camera's off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, um... Like you're there, you're you're their little lizard pet. Like it's okay. You just needed to be smacked with the newspaper a couple times and then find out you weren't supposed to go to the bathroom yet. Yeah. I don't know, Taurus. It's weird. But hopefully you figure it out. But that's what I got for everybody. If you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe if you will. No pressure, of course. It make me happy. But you, you do what you want to do, right? But I'll talk to you guys later. Take care of yourselves, right? Love your face. Bye-bye.